Okay, guys, so this is the recording uh, for section 17.4. Here we're going to talk about how to solve absolute value inequalities. So absolute value of inequalities, this is what you're going to solve. You're going to have absolute value of the expression it will be less than A, A stands for number, or you may see that absolute value of the expression will be less than equal A, or we're going to solve that absolute value of the expression is greater than A, and also we're going to solve that absolute value of the expression is greater or equal A. Okay. So absolute values, it's like equations, you will be solving two inequalities, okay? So review. Review. To solve absolute value equations, let's talk about equations for a second. What we did, we rewrite and solve two inequalities. Uh, two equations we were doing. Two equations. Okay. So when we had something like this, we're reviewing x absolute value of x equal a. This is how we were solving. Uh, that means that x it's uh, that means that x is equal a or x is equal negative a. Now to solve absolute value inequalities, you're going to do a similar thing. Follow the steps. Okay, so absolute value of x is greater than a greater than a means that x is greater than a so like you see the first inequality is the same one like the, there's no absolute value or x look what happened we're removing absolute value we switching inequality symbol to less than and we switching a to negative a. So this is what we're doing for inequality. And don't forget that word or means union. So we're going to look for union. So you're going to do that for greater. Greater sign means union, okay? And it works the same way if you will have absolute value of x greater or equal to a, what you will do, you will rewrite that as two inequalities, means that x is greater or equal a, all the time greater stands for union, or x is less than equal negative a. Okay. Now, so that's when you have greater than, To solve the inequality, follow the steps. And this is for inequality with the inequality with the greater or greater than equal. Okay. Next one will be to solve inequalities. Absolute value, of course. Absolute value inequalities with the sign less than or less than equal follow the steps okay and here we have absolute value of x is less than a that means that x 
is less than a so i just copy inequality without an equality symbol and so less than stands for and which is intersection and x switch the inequality less than to the opposite which is greater than negative a so don't forget that word and stands for intersection so when you have less than you're looking for intersection and it will work the same way when you have absolute value of x less than equal a you're going to solve two inequalities that means that x is less than equal a and x is greater or equal to negative a so again you have word end okay so let me show you how that's going to work based on the examples So let's move to example. Solve the absolute value inequality. And write the solution set. In interval notation. In interval notation so this is the first example we have absolute value of 2x plus 5 plus 2 is less than equal to 11 so I'm going to give you steps first what you're going to do you need to isolate before you start creating two inequalities you need to isolate the absolute value So we need to isolate the absolute value. So that means positive two has to be moved to the right side. So we'll subtract two from both sides and we're getting absolute value of two X plus five is less than equal nine. Now look what happened. You have less than, less than means less than equal means intersection. Okay, so next what you're going to do, you're going to rewrite as two inequalities. So you're removing the absolute value. So that will be 2x plus 5. And you just follow the original inequality less than equal 9. Again, less than equal means intersection. Intersection stands for end. And the second one will be 2x plus 5, switch the inequality to the opposite, which is greater or equal, and switch the number on the right side to the opposite, which is negative 9. And we're going to solve two inequalities. So I will subtract 5 from both sides, and we're getting 2x less than equal 4, divide each by 2, and we're getting x is less than equal 2. And I will solve the second inequality. We'll subtract 5 from both sides. So we're getting 2x greater or equal negative 14. And divide each by 2, we're getting x greater or equal negative 7. So less than means end. Next, what we're going to do, we're going to find the intersection of those two inequalities. So the third step will be find the intersection. So we're going to graph both solution sets on the same number line. The first inequality I will graph in green. We have x less than equal to. So I'm graphing the first one. The second inequality I'll graph in red, x greater or equal negative 7. So I'm shading everything to the right. And end. 
stands for intersection. And intersection is the part where two inequalities over overlap. So we have the solution we have from negative 7 to 2 in bracket. So this is the solution set. So absolute value inequalities, you're writing as a two inequalities. Remember that when you have inequality with the symbol less than, you're looking for intersection. When you have an inequality with symbol greater than, you're looking for a uh, union. So let's do the second example. Let's do B. We have five less than one plus absolute value of one third x minus one. So step number one will be um, isolate the absolute value first. Okay, so this is my absolute value. So I need to move this number to the other side. Since it's positive one, I will subtract one from both sides. And you have four, it's less than absolute value of one third x minus one. Again, I really don't like to have the number if, if I'm solving inequalities on the left side. So I'm going to rewrite it as absolute value of one third x minus one. I will put four on the right side and my, uh, my inequality symbol pointing four, so it's still going to point four, okay? So now when I have this inequality, I see that I have a symbol greater than. So next, rewrite it as two inequalities. And greater means union. We're going to look for union. So I'm going to rewrite it. My first inequality, it's going to be the one which you see. So just remove the absolute value, which will be one third x minus one is greater than four. The second inequality, you're going to have one third x minus one. You're going to reverse inequality symbol to less than and you're going to switch the number on the right side to the opposite, which is negative four. And you're going to put or or between them because again, greater means union, unions means word or. So we're solving two inequalities. So third step, solve both inequalities. and find union. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to uh, multiply both sides by three. So three times original, which is one third X minus one. It's greater than three times four. So I distribute three to both and I have three times one third x is just x minus three is greater than 12. Let's add three to both sides and we're getting x greater than 15. Here I will do the same thing. So I'm going to multiply both sides by three. So again, three times original. negative four. So three times one third X is just X, three times negative one, negative three, less than negative 12. Add three to both sides and we have X less than negative nine. Okay, so don't forget that you had greater than, so greater than means R, we're going to look for union. Um, so we're going to grab both inequalities together and we'll look for union. Okay, union. 
Okay, so I'm graphing both inequalities. The first one will be in red, x greater than 15. The second one will be in green, x less than negative 9. Since we're looking for union, union means the part of the number line which you shaded. It doesn't matter which color, but it's shaded. So this is our union. The union will be the interval from negative infinity to negative 9 union. And we're adding the second interval, which is from 15 to positive infinity. So again, okay. Okay, so I show you how to find... Um, how to solve absolute value inequalities with the symbol less than and the symbol greater than. And maybe we can practice a little more because technically that's it from this section. Um, okay, something what can be Okay, let's practice seeing something which you may see it. Um, so let's say you have absolute value of 3x minus 1 is greater and to, or equal to 0. So something like this. We all know by now that absolute value represents the distance uh, from 0. And we all know that the absolute value is always positive. So for this one, hint will be, I really don't want you to solve it because look what happened. Absolute value of this expression, they, it doesn't matter what is inside. We know that that always will be either zero or positive. And here I'm saying that absolute value of what I have in, uh, inside of the absolute value, it's greater or equal zero. Since this is always true, Okay, because every single absolute value is either equal to zero or positive number, the solution set is always all, all real numbers. So when you see something like that, which means from negative infinity to infinity, you really don't have to solve it, okay? When you have absolute value greater or equal to zero, the solution always will be all real numbers. So I want to give you a hint to something like that. Um, however, solve something similar. Absolute value of 3x minus 1 is greater than zero. So here I cannot say that this is true for all real numbers because I also know that absolute value can be equal to zero when we don't move, uh, when the distance from zero to zero um, from, is, again, absolute value of, um, it's a distance, which distance can be zero or any positive number. So here, this is a little different. What I'm going to do, I'm going to follow the steps. I have greater than, that means greater means um, if we solve absolute values, that means R, okay, which means union. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to rewrite that as a two inequalities, which is 3x minus 1 greater than 0, or 3x minus 1, remember, reverse inequality, and opposite of 0 is just 0. So I'm just putting 0. Solve for x, so we're adding 1 to both sides. We end up with 3x is greater than 1, divide by 3, divide by 3, and you're getting that x is greater than 1 third. Here, the same thing, we're adding 1 to both sides. We're getting 3x is less than 1, divide by 3, divide by 3, you have x less than 1 third. Okay, so we're looking for union. Let's see how this one looks. Uh, let's add both solutions. So we have in orange, we have x greater than 1 over 3.
in green will be x less than 1 over 3. So I told you guys that when you have union, so the solution set is the part of number line which was shaded. We shade this and we shade this. So here, what we shade, we shade the entire number line without one third. So union is equal the number line, which is all real numbers. We shade it in time without one third. So the solution set here is the interval from negative infinity to one third. Then we have a gap right here, union one third to positive infinity. Okay, so not all real numbers, all real numbers except one third. So this is a little different. And one more example, DE. Okay, what happened when you have absolute value of 3x minus 1 less than equals 0? Okay, so less than, again, less than equal means intersection, which means word end. So you're going to rewrite this as 3x minus 1 less than equals 0 and 3x minus 1 reverse inequality to greater or equal and opposite of 0 it's negative 0 which is 0. So here you're doing the same thing you're solving 4x and you end up with 3x less than equal 1 that will give you x less than equal 1 third and we'll end up here the same thing you adding 1 and divide by 3 3x greater equal 1 which means x um, greater equal one third. So now we have two solutions and we need to find n, which means intersection. Okay, so um, let's look for intersection. Let's graph both of them. The first one will be in orange. X is less than equal one third including one third. The second one will be in green, x is greater or equal one third. And intersection, it's the part which overlap. And I don't wanna do green. Overlap. So this is the part when they overlap at one third. So this is our solution, okay? And that can happen. So the solution, is x equal one third it's just one number okay which you can also put that way we only have one element of the solution one third that's the intersection of both inequalities okay next one what we're going to do we're going to expressing i want to do the example when we're going to express the distance with absolute value so the distance between negative five and three is eight. So <clears throat> when we need to solve problems like this, 
Okay, so this is what we're going to do. I'm going to draw the number line. The distance between negative 5 and 3 is 8. Um, so I have negative 5, negative 4, negative 3, negative 2, negative 1. Oh, I have 0, 1, 2, 3. Okay, so the distance between negative 5 and 3 it's equal 8. So how are you going to um, express that distance? Okay, so uh, to express that distance using the absolute value, because absolute value represents distance. So in absolute value, I'm going to, from negative 5, from the number which is on the left side, I'm going to subtract the number which I have on the right side, which is 3. And this is the distance. Yes, we are. So again, yes, in a second, first number minus, and this is the second number. So that's how you represent the distance. Okay, and just one example. Translate by writing the absolute value inequality. So a. All the real numbers which distance from zero is greater than ten units. So distance, it's the absolute value. So distance stands for absolute value. All real numbers, which distance from zero is greater than 10. So all real numbers, which distance from zero is greater than 10. So technically this is absolute value of X is greater than 10. And B, Last one, all real numbers, which distance from negative four is less than six units. So you put absolute value x minus the distance from negative 4. So x minus negative 4 is less than 6. So when you simplify, you having x plus 4 less than 6. This is the solution. Okay, so that's it. This is the end of section 17.4. Thank you for watching.